Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to look at typecasting or type conversion in C programming language. So let's begin. Before diving into the typecasting, one thing that you should always remember that the operation are always performed between the similar data type. For example, let's say there is a number 6 which is of integer type then if I am performing addition with some other values, let's say 8, then this will also be of integer type. Okay. Similarly, let's say there is a character A and I am performing addition with B. So both of these operand must be of same data type okay, or must belong from the same data type. Now typecasting occurs when we try to perform some operation between different data type. For example, let's say this 6 is of type integer and let's say 8 is of short okay or short int now in this case both of the uh, operands are of different data type in that case typecasting will occur now what is typecasting typecasting is basically the promotion or depromotion of the data type which is done to make both the operand of same data type again Typecasting or type conversion is the process of converting one data type or the value of one data type into another data type so that both of the operand are of same data okay, or same data type. The two operands, the two operands must always be of same data type okay, and to make it similar or belonging to the same data type, type conversion or type casting take place. Now there are two kinds of type casting. First of all implicit and second is explicit. In implicit type conversion, it is the compiler that will promote or depromote the data of one data type into another data type and in explicit type conversion it is the programmer who will tell okay you have to convert this data of belonging to this data type into this data type okay while performing some operation right now let's first talk about the implicit type implicit type conversion okay Note that type conversion is also known as the type casting. To understand implicit type conversion, we have to remember this hierarchy. Note that the data type which is coming lower in this hierarchy will be converted to the upper one. For example, let's say there is a variable of type int and I am writing int a equals to 4 and there is also a character let's say c and this is of having the c. Okay. Now if I am let's say I am performing the operation a plus c okay now in this situation a here is of integer type and c is of character type okay now in this hierarchy this is character type is coming in lower part so this character will be converted to the integer part to make both of these into equivalent data type okay so this should be of integer at final and this should also be of integer now whenever a character is converted into the integer type then we have to use the sky value okay or the compiler always use the sky value of character now the sky value of c is 99 so basically this so this will be equal to 4 plus then character c or i can write 4 plus 99 which is the sky value of small c okay and the final will be 103 right so here character is converted to the integer type okay now let's say i want to prove this that the character is converted to the integer type now for that i can write here printf percent d and i'll write here size of and then i'll write a plus c now why i am doing this here is because if a plus c is giving me the final output of character data type then size of after performing this operation will should give me one okay and if it is giving me final as data of integer type then here after performing this operation it should give me four byte okay i am considering a integer is a four byte okay now if you run this program and you will see after performing this operation size of will give you the four so basically after performing this operation the final output is of integer type okay let's see another example we have a float variable f equals to 12.0 okay and we have an integer variable let's say s equals to 2 right and i am performing s plus f right now s is of type integer and f is of type float right now between these two this is coming lower in this hierarchy so integer will be promoted to the float right so this will be converted to the float value 
note that this is implicitly happening doing by the compiler okay implicitly done by the compiler and then this value sorry let me write it here s plus f so it was 2 plus 12.0 right or this will be converted to the float so this will become 2.0000 plus 12.00 you can write this also and then the final output will be 14.000000 okay so here integer type is converted to the float type right so here while performing an operation integer type is converted to the float type okay and it is done implicitly right now let's say that here i am writing f equals to let's say 18 okay now 18 is of type integer and i had defined the variable of type float now in this line also there is implicit conversion okay what will happen that this 18 will be converted to the float why because f it, it is a float type and it will be holding only the value of data type float so this will implicitly be written as 8.00000 okay this is also happens when there is implicit type conversion and also in the place let's say print f and i am writing here percent d and let's say c okay and then there is a character variable having the well character as a now in this condition what will happen that this c is going to be implicitly converted into the form of integer why because i am writing here percent d okay so here it is a sky value is 97 okay so in this case this will give me output as 97 the point here is that there is not just only addition or subtraction or multiplication in which the type conversion is taking place even in the assignment and when we are printing the values the type conversion can occur okay now let's see some other example for the type conversion now let's say there is a variable s of type short okay and the value given to it is 45 similarly there is a long with the variable name l and it is 97 right now if i'm performing s plus l now implicitly this is of short type right and this is of long type okay so this short must be converted to the long type to make it of the same data type so this will be converted to long right so 45 plus 97 now so if you see here there is no changes in the value but implicitly this value will have been converted to the type of long okay or i can say initially this s or this 45 was of two byte right after the implicit type conversion it is converted to the eight byte okay basically the data type size of this data type long okay so even though the, there is no difference in that the output will be 142 but remember that implicitly this two byte of data is converted into the eight byte okay so this is how in general implicit type conversion take place generally whenever there is some operation taking place then the smaller the data type or the value of a smaller data type is going to be converted in the into the higher data type remember that it is not always the case for example let's say if i'm writing here printf let's say i'm writing here percent c and let's say here it is 98 okay and i'll write here s now in this case this is of short type which is higher in the level and this is of smaller level or character type okay i can write here character now in this case this is to be converted into the character data type okay and this will give me output as character b because the 98 is the sky value of character b okay so whenever there is operation for example plus minus or multiplication then you can carry out that the smaller is converted to the higher one okay in the printf or in some other case scenarios also it is possible that the higher one is also converted to the lower one but everything is happening by the compiler itself that's why it is known as the implicit type conversion okay now let's talk about the explicit type conversion in which we as a programmer will tell the compiler that you have to convert this data type into this particular data type okay so let's see it let's take an example to understand explicit type conversion let's say there is integer variable int a equals to 4 and also there is float variable f equals to let's say 12.0 okay now if i'm performing a plus f then what will happen this integer is going to be converted by to the float type okay implicitly but let's say instead of this i want the float type to be converted into the integer type okay and then the operation must be like integer 
plus integer okay so i want this to be happen now in that case what i will do i will write a plus int in the parenthesis and i'll write here f now what is happening here is that this f variable is going to be converted into the integer type okay so this will be now 4 plus 12 okay when converting float values the decimal part will no longer exist okay and the final will be 16 which will be of integer type right similarly let's say that there is character s okay and i'll write here a right and there is long l equals to 97 okay now what i want to do i want to perform the operation s plus l okay and now implicitly what will happen this character is going to be converted into the long type okay but let's say i explicitly want to define or say that please convert this character into long then i can write before this long okay then this will be treated as the long variable and this is itself a long note that here also both are of same data okay and if both are not of same data type then there will another implicit type conversion that will be done by the compiler let's take a example for that now let's say there is another variable long l which has the content of 45 okay and i perform the operation a plus int and then f plus l okay now first of all f is going to be converted into the integer type so a will be 4 which is of integer type and this here is 12 this is also now of integer type due to explicit type conversion but here l is of long type okay so if you see here this after the the result of integer and integer will be integer and then there is long okay so this integer is going to be converted into the long which will be implicit in nature so what will happen first of all 4 plus 12 is 16 and then there is l whose value is 45 okay this is integer and this is long right now integer and long so as we talk in the previous section integer will be now converted to the long okay so integer will be converted to the long so this will be 16 or 45 but this will now be act as long or the size of this data type will be 8 byte now okay then the final output will be 61 okay so there is possibility that both of the conversion implicit and explicit type conversion can take place simultaneously okay so for explicit we just write parenthesis and inside it we want we have to specify in which data type you want to convert this variable okay now how it can be used now let me take an example let's say there is a variable age okay and this is 14 right and there is another variable f which is of again integer type and this is having the value 13 okay and you perform the operation print f percent f and you do 14 divided by 13 okay or let's make it 3 right now what will happen in this case this is of integer type and this also here is of integer type okay now if you will perform the operation between integer and integer the output will be of integer type okay note that here it is age and here it is f okay and both are of integer type right now let's say that after performing the operation the output which it will return will be of integer type okay and which will be 4 right because when the 14 divided is by 3 it will give 4.66 okay and when it is of integer time the decimal the decimal part will be eliminated and the remaining is 4 which will be of integer type and the final will be 4 okay but let's say that instead of finding or getting the 4 you want the exact decimal point as an output now in that case you will use the explicit type conversion so what you will write you will write float and then h right and then divide by f okay you can perform this here or here okay no problem in that you can place it here or in this location right now this float age will convert the age variable into the float type right so age is 14 so this will be converted to 4.00000 right and this here f is of integer type so 3 now this is float and this is int right this is int now note that 
after after this after the explicit conversion there will be now implicit conversion now implicit conversion means that this three integer will now be converted to the float type okay so here we did the explicit type conversion and after explicit this f is going to be converted implicitly of type to the type float okay so now the final operation could be like 4.00000 divide by 3.00000 okay now the operation between float and float will give me output as float value right so this will give me now 4.66667 okay so just by writing here float our final output will be now 4.66667 okay so this is how we use the explicit type conversion note that that in your programming when you are making some program there will a uh, enormous number of implicit and explicit type conversion after performing explicit type conversion there will be implicit type conversions also okay so i hope you get the idea how the type casting work and that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video